Welcome to today's video. Today's video, I want to cover how you can stabilize your footage inside of Premiere Pro. Now, I made a video about this kind of thing for free, how you can stabilize footage for free uh, a while back ago. I'll link it up in the eye on the top right, so check out that, how to stabilize your footage for free. But today, I want to cover more in depth how you can stabilize that footage inside of Premiere Pro once you're in post processing. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I hope you guys learned something today. So we are inside of Premiere Pro and what this effect is, is pretty much warp stabilizer. So what you want to do is go into the effects. So we're going to go up to the top left. Um, just want to say that my workspace looks way different than the default one because I changed it up so it works pretty well on my ultra wide drive here, but I have it on my 1080. Uh, but 1920 by 1080 monitor over here so you guys ha could have a better view on your phones if you're watching it or on desktop so in general for your viewing experience I, I have it cropped down to a done 16 by 9 instead of my ultra wide so that's why it looks a little weird all right but let's get back into it so what you're going to do in the effects is just type in warp and then it comes up as the first one warp stabilizer it's a video effects distort and it's warp stabilizer so depending on if you have any effects already applied to your footage, like for me, I had to scale it down because this is a 4K clip on a 1080 uh, kind of timeline sequence. So you want to have to nest it so the warp stabilizer actually works. And it's the same thing on if you play around with the speed and all that kind of fun stuff that you do as a filmmaker. You have to nest it that's that's I don't know why but it fixes it and it works so drag and drop the warp stabilizer on your footage and it's gonna be analyzing it in the background so I'm gonna let it run default and then I'm gonna explain once it's done exactly how you can manipulate it to make it the way you want it to be stabilized <laughs> Alright, so now as you can see, it's done uh, processing the footage and we have a stabilized footage uh, that Premiere Pro has thrown out at us. So this is the footage before the warp stabilizer has been applied. There it is. It's kind of shaky a little bit. I did a handheld and it's pretty close up with my 55mm uh, on my A6500. And then if I turn on the effect you can see that it's much smoother and it's much better of a stabilized clip. But what you can do after or even before you start warp stabilizing, you can have it preserve scale. And it's going to start uh, stabilizing again in the scale that it was. So if we watch it now, this is how it looks. It's still stabilized. It's done pretty well, but it's not scaled in. And there might be a little more movement in the back. That's just a little minor defect of having a stabilized uh, thing. But you want to make sure your footage is kind of the most stable you can have it before you even apply the warp stabilizer. So here there are more options. You have no motion or smooth motion. If I change it to no motion, we are going to have footage that doesn't move. It looks like it's pointed and it's stable at that one point everything else in the footage moves to fit that point if that makes any sense if we do preserve scale turned off there you go it kind of looks a little better there's also these methods that you can choose perspective position scale rotation uh, position <clears throat> let's do position scale rotation and that should look a little bit better as well if we do preserve uh, scale as well now it should look even better and in general if you play around with this you can get much better footage so if we do smooth motion we can even do uh, let's say 25 we just want it to be stabilized 25 percent it's already better than default so what it was it was like this and warp stabilizer you know, it's sometimes a little mess, it messes up a little bit. So if we do 75 and we stabilize it, I hope this recording is doing pretty well. Hope it's not having any minor bugs with glitches or anything. 
but you just have to play around if you want it to be higher quality warp stabilized and I just changed the framing uh, but now we do framing so there's stabilize only there's stabilize crop stabilize crop auto scale and synthesize edges so we can either do stabilize synthesize edges or we can do crop and auto uh, crop and auto scale next to the stabilization and in general the more you play around it with it you want to make sure it's not bad footage like if you stabilize just a little bit it should be nice or just make sure to play around and get the right uh, kind of stabilization for your clip all right guys let's jump back to the talking head dominic so hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned something see you guys in tomorrow's video bye guys